Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is part 6 of the Kotlin game. Um, so I did a lot of UI work, uh, graphics, uh, since the last video. And that's because I didn't like the way it looked before. This is what it was um, since the last video. And uh, yeah, I couldn't handle it. Too much green. I don't like it at all. Especially these buttons down here, the input buttons. It just didn't match. I think with the rest of the game uh, they looked out of place so first thing I did was just change the background too much green I eventually settled on this bluish color and then I wanted to change the UI color as well these buttons and labels um, so I was like going through different colors red purple blue and then I eventually settled on orange because it looked really nice with the blue background and the green tiles a nice contrast so yeah I basically did an entire orange scheme for all the UI uh, so I made these buttons here they're way better than these uh, not as big less clunky and takes up less space so I have more uh, you can see more of the uh, tile map I also did the level select oh uh, yeah I said I changed everything to orange pretty much and uh, so this is level select um, so I put the numbers in each one of these squares uh, this is what the game looks like so far uh, blue background and level select I also locked the levels if you haven't beaten the previous level yet so you have to go here um, so when you get here you can uh, oh yeah I made these also semi-transparent because apparently most mobile games uh, are doing it sort of transparent. Some of them still have it fully opaque. I thought it was a little weird that these would be semi-transparent, but these buttons up here would be just visible. But uh, I guess since these are input buttons or control buttons, they'd be fine. So I also made a um, level finished screen. So I'm going to deliberately get a bad score on this because I also implemented high scores the, my best right now is zero because I haven't finished this level so once I finish it with 31 moves best zero moves 31 it's a new record so when I restart it'll show my best as 31 but of course I can do better than that um, I can finish this in 11 moves and that's a new record and that's gonna show up so I can go hmm, it's a little annoying that I, there's no next here, but you can always just go back. Anyway, so that is that. Complete. Next. And next, and stuff like that. So basically, uh, yeah. I'm unlocking the levels as I go along, and that's the only way to get through it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. There's not really a whole lot else for me to do. Uh, I don't plan on adding too much else. I did make a uh, Jira board light here <laughs> on GitHub because apparently they have one of these things. So I was like, all right, let's make one. And, uh, whoops. Make level finish screen thing. That's done. That's ready to ship already tested it make tons of levels that's probably the next thing screens oh my god settings screen I, I'm not sure about this because uh, I'm not sure what exactly settings I'm gonna put into the game um, so I'll probably scrap this but other than this and this that's probably gonna be it I'm not sure what else to do <coughs> So, uh, yeah, that's the game. And, uh, thanks for watching.